You want to know who David Cromer is? At first I thought of myself as a, as a singer, songwriter and a performer. But quite a while back I started to really understand that all of the, the songwriting that I was doing really was a, another way of telling stories. So, so when you start to think of yourself as a storyteller and a storyteller who uses music as well to tell stories, I, I moved into, into the theatre world and I became very interested in writing songs and stories for actors to, to perform. Um, I was quite fascinated by the fact that um, I didn't have the, I, I, I could only write a certain kind of song for myself, which that was fine, you know, which is very much part of my identity. But I also wanted to explore writing for other voices and so that led me into the theatres. So I could write for female voices, I could write for people that had a much bigger range than me. My natural home, you know, is the theatre. Do I dream in Afrikaans? Um, I don't think so, I don't really know. I, I think I, well, because I dream in images, so yeah. at that time think, well, if I'm going to um, write in the style that I was inventing then, it would need to be rooted in something, and what would those roots be? And the only connection I had was to Afrikaans, and that didn't seem too appealing at the time. But when I started looking at the folk songs, the old Afrikaans folk songs, reading the lyrics, I suddenly understood that these songs were not white songs, that they had been created um, on the farms. The songs were created at a time almost within the slavery period and shortly after that. And so then I started to develop an interest in the language and, and I discovered in the 1970s that the roots and the origins of Afrikaans lie within the mouths of slaves. English is the, is the language of my tongue and Afrikaans is the language of my heart. So I, I grew up in an English-speaking home but with lots of Afrikaans influence. My passion was in writing songs and poetry uh, that which I thought of as my hobby. And in those years, to make a career out of music or to earn a living out of music you know, you just, we didn't do that. There were very few examples of it. It is my passion and I think if you can follow your passion and you can turn it into something beyond a hobby, then that's what you should do. It makes a big difference. It, it really makes a big, big difference.